What's up everybody, it's me here, Marvel and Fun, uh, aka Rudon Jogi, here to do a benchmark test for the Hawaii Ascent Y300. Now this phone, as we know, is clocked with a 1GHz dual core processor by Snapdragon, um, and it's a dual core processor which is really really good, um, but that doesn't really matter, we'll, we'll see how the phone functions and we'll see um, where it stands in the league or where it stands on the table um, against other phone and other competitors. Now, let's just load up in 2.2 benchmark, which is the first benchmark that I'm going to do today. Um, and as you can see there, it's just installing. So, I'm not expecting a high score for um, the um, Hawaii Ascend Y300. I'm expecting probably a medium score. So, I'm starting the test now. So, it's just in the CPU memory. You can see that. Testing the run speed. So it's a nice phone as you can see. But that doesn't say anything. It's it's what about it's what's inside the phone which actually says what the phone is, so to do benchmark test 27% so There we go, it's nice. Just... <laughs> Just show you the graphics. And so new. So there's F FPS of um, 6.7, 7.1, 6.9, so 67 um, FPS and counting, and 26 triangles. So that's 26,000 triangles, I mean. So when you download this app and then to do benchmark, it really detects um, what phone you're using. So that's great. Don't have to enter it manually then. So now it's 87% and it's testing the SD card and write speed. I don't have an SD card in that at the moment, but yeah. It's just testing that. I don't know how we can test it if I don't have an SD card. And I think that's pretty much going to be it. And now, I've done this test yesterday and it gave me a result of you know, 4,000 something. Um, and now it's giving me a higher rating which is a bit weird. And the score is 4,936. Not that bad, really. But we'll, we'll see where it stands in the league. Um, and I'll see if it stands in the chart. I mean, let's see where it stands as well. So let's just go on a bar chart. And we will see where the phone stands here. So let me just set the phone to auto-rotate. So I can rotate it. There we go. Um, so... Let's see, the Galaxy S4 is the one of the best 
uh, my phone beats the Amazon Kindle Fire, the Samsung Galaxy S or Samsung, Samsung Galaxy S Advanced. The, the Samsung Galaxy Nexus is one of the next ones, which um, is a bit, I'm like in the kind of the quarter range of the actual chart, but that's fine. Um, as you can see, you can tell everything by my phone, and as you can see, the 480 by 100 pixels, and the scores and everything. But yeah, um, that's my score, so that's the first benchmark test I did today. One I'm going to try is, the last one actually, is... Vel Ammo. So we just need to um, start the test now. So I'm going to start that. Um, hang on, no results yet. Um, and let's run all chapters. Okay. No. Okay. So basically, this one tests um, everything on your phone. Uh, it tests basically everything, so um, let's just wait and see what the results are. So, see that it's just loading now. It takes a bit of time for it to load. Which I don't like. So it just tells you all the different things and it seems like it's going to take a long way to get to the end but I will wait no matter what. So the benchmark test on the Veneno uh, Vilia Vilamo test is finished and it got the rating of 1115 and 329 so your device okay let's compare it with other devices and the results dun dun. Dun dun. okay <laughs> so let's see um, right there is the table okay this wow now this my this is my device here okay and uh, my device is better than the Samsung Galaxy S2 the Galaxy Note the Hawaii U8 the Galaxy Tab Moloto Droid Motorola Droid Razor and it's just near yeah, the Asus Transfer Prime and the Sony Tablet S which is good that's amazing results to be honest with you guys I'm really happy with the result and it's better than the a two two result.